Hey guys, it's Madam Wario. Welcome back to more Let's Play Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Amiibo. It is another holiday today, so we are celebrating. And I wanted to go ahead and show off the intro screen because sometimes we get a little bit of different dialogue if it's a holiday as opposed to just a regular old day in Big Pimp. So that's right. Today is the day we celebrate all the fruits of our labors. It's the Harvest Festival. That's right, guys. Happy Thanksgiving to those of you who live in the U.S. like I do. I hope you have a wonderful day filled with family and food and fun. I love Thanksgiving so much. Um, so attention residents, today we're celebrating the Harvest Festival. So the Harvest Festival functions in its own way. I will be explaining it to the best of my ability. Um, to be perfectly honest, I've never actually partaken in the Harvest Festival thoroughly, meaning I've never gotten like every piece of furniture from the Harvest Festival. So I will kind of go over what the rewards are. I will also have a guide to the Harvest Festival linked in the video description um, for your convenience. So let's go ahead and see. Oh, I have too many letters from Bianca. Um, know how it can be easier to write something in a letter than say it face to face well i want to thank you thank you for being my friend and bear it why are you writing me this crap okay seriously a change of decor can make you amazing no, i'm not you know what mom i don't want any new wallpaper you can suck it so okay i'm just gonna leave that because i don't care um so let's run to the plaza which is where all the fun is. And we'll get started. Look, the trees are red now. Last time we saw them, they were like a yellow, um, light orange color. Now they are full on red, which is the final stage in the, um, the fall appearance in Animal Crossing. So snow will be coming soon. I'm pretty excited about it. Anyway, we've met this guy before in his RV trailer. This is Franklin. He is cooking up a storm, and so we're going to talk to him. Franklin, you need something from me? Oh, you're the mayor, right? I'm the guy they call Franklin, your secretary. What? Okay. No, yeah, I forgot that Isabel is actually our secretary. Okay, I... Sh okay, he wants to whip up some fish salad. Um... Some vinegar, horse mackerel, red snapper. Man. Alright, so I'm gonna... I'm not gonna do every single thing, probably, that he asks to do. But, of course, I'm going to do this one because it's the first. Um, so, basically, Franklin will want you to help him create um, four main dishes. So, we have the salad, the soup, the main course, and a dessert. And so, he's gonna tell you three of actually four ingredients that you need to successfully make the recipe. I mean, yes, you can successfully make it without the fourth, but there's a secret ingredient to everything. So there's a lot of fishing involved in today. Um, neighbors get involved, different fruit trees. Um, so like um, he just said he needed red snapper and horse mackerel, both of which are found in the ocean. The vinegar comes from a villager. So I'm going to read up and kind of just read out loud as I um, discuss how to get vinegar. So let's see. Because um, I, I know a lot of the time you have to give things to um, to animals. So... Give fish to villagers who are in their houses and are wearing chef's uniforms. And this says I need to gather three uh, vinegars. So I guess I need to talk to animals first. This is something I really have never done, guys. Like, I have kind of messed around on it. Maybe the first year this game was out, I did, like, one dish. But I just never really have been big into playing Animal Crossing on Thanksgiving. It's just not as... I mean, it's fun, but it's not as fun as, like, other days. Now, you can see Rodeo is in his chef uniform. So, yay, today is the Harvest Festival. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, that's so appropriate. Do you have a barbel steed? 
All right, so he needs a barbel steed in order to give us um, vinegar. So, and where's, is the barbel steed in the lake? Or not the lake, but the river, I think it is. Um, you know what, we need to just get our fishing net out. I don't even have it out. It's in a letter, but there we go. Perfect. So, before we do anything, we need to fish for uh, barbel steed. And this is kind of why I'm not going to do every single um, course or every single recipe, is because this takes a very long time. Fishing is random, as you all know. So, it's not always easy to find all of these ingredients. And rather than playing for like two hours, you know, I want to just make this kind of short and sweet, or as much as I can. I caught a bluegill! That is not what I need, but, you know, you win some, you lose some. Because we want to get that vinegar. I'll go ahead and go over the rewards as well. You can get, um, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 different pieces of harvest furniture. Um, and then you can get two special items, uh, the first being a fruit basket and the second being a cornucopia. So in order to get the fruit basket, um, all you have to do is um, include the secret ingredient in one of your recipes. So if you include it in a recipe, um, Franklin will give you a fruit basket. If you bring the secret ingredient for all four dishes that he asks for on um, Thanksgiving Day at the Harvest Festival, he will give you a cornucopia, which is kind of like the image of Thanksgiving. So, pretty cool. Um, you know what? I walked by Vic's house earlier and did not go in and like show off his house. I will do that after this. Let me see if I can catch some fishes. So basically, if we get this vinegar, then we will get um, a fruit basket in return. Oh, man, freaking carp. Come on. I think maybe another reason I'm not super into the Harvest Festival is because I'm not as big into fishing in this game as I am bug catching. So it's not as exciting to me to like fish. It takes a lot more patience and just a lot more time. And I like that, you know, bug catching does not tend to take as much time for me. And I'm just more interested in it, I guess. Cause like, I feel like, you know, the bugs, you can see what they are, they're right there. But the mystery element to fishing that just makes certain things really difficult to find. I mean, I guess there is a bit of a random element to bug catching as well as you may not find the bug you want all the time but you can still see it's the wrong bug or whatever out in the open you don't have to like dig in the grass or something and hope that you find the bug that you're looking for so oh come on cast your thing yes ma'am so by this point um i believe animal crossing um, <laughs> Animal Crossing Fat Camp. No, that's, I'm totally lying. Animal Crossing, um, Mobile, the, oh my god, what, Pocket Camp. I wanted to say Cute Camp. Everything else. I wanted, I really did think Fat Camp first. Like, that's the wrong thing to think, but yeah, Animal Crossing Fat Camp is out now on mobile. Um, in the U.S., I mean, by my understanding. I think it's been out in Australia for a while now, but um, so I don't really know what all countries it is available in. I just know, like, North America has it by this point. Now, I don't have it at the point of recording this. Because I am recording this a couple days in advance. Because my Thanksgiving day is obviously jam-packed with plans. As yours probably is, too. So, oh my god. I'm never going to find, like, the fish I need for this. Um, but I also don't think I can put it on my phone. Um, I think I'm gonna have to put it on, like, my iPod, because my phone just doesn't have enough space. I don't have a ton of memory on my phone, and I'm not a big mobile game person anyway, so. Okay, we didn't find a barble seed. Let's see if anybody else is home that we can see if they want a different ingredient. Um, or, like, a different fish, maybe one that we already have or is easier to catch. There's Tammy. Um, 
Looks like Beardo might be home cooking, which is pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Aha, he's in a chef outfit. Yay, it's the Harvest Festival today. Oh, so cute. I guess I don't yet have a barble steed. Man, you guys all want freaking barble steeds. Too many barble steeds. You know how in, like, Pokemon, probably the later games too, but I'm more familiar with, like, the older games, how in, like, um, I don't know if this was in, like, red, blue, yellow, maybe it was, but I know specifically from, like, silver and gold that there was that, like, element or tool or whatever you want to call it um, in your item pocket that said, or not your item pocket, your Pokedex that said, like, where a Pokemon was located on your map, like, at the current moment. And I really wish I had that here for, like, certain kinds of fish. That would be really, really beneficial. Actually, a oh, beneficial pun! Anyway, um, what I was thinking of, actually, and this is what even got me started thinking about Pocket Camp, is that I was thinking about how there's, like, a big net as an item in Pocket Camp, and I want that to be an item, like, in this game, as I'm sure everybody else does too, but the next game, I'm sure it will be. Fruits on a cake? Oh, freaking guppy, I'm not doing it. I need one barble steed, okay? Actually, I think I need three. Can you see why I'm not a big Harvest Festival person? I know, theoretically, you can do this in advance. You can catch like all these fish and be like the most awesome person alive and be like, I own Animal Crossing, guys. I am like the owner. But that unfortunately was not me. So, you know. Okay, well, let's go in Vic's house um, and then we'll do a bit more fishing. And then I'm going to uh, take a break from fishing to go show you a piece of Harvest Furniture as just like the spooky furniture set, you can purchase all of the Harvest Furniture in the Nookling shop throughout the month of November. So, I mean, it's not like you have to do this for it, which is also another strong motivator as to why I don't do this. Um, I don't believe any Harvest items are exclusive to the Harvest Festival, but I may be wrong. So, if anybody knows for sure, feel free to comment um, and correct me if I am wrong. But I believe the only two items that are truly unique to the Harvest Festival are the fruit basket and the cornucopia. I think that's the only thing that makes a difference and why, like, it's such a hassle. So, oh my gosh, I just realized he's, like, cooking, too. And he, of course, needs a freaking barble steed, as does the rest of the world. So I'm gonna try, like, three more fish and then, you know, say, whatever, you suck. Um, you know, oh, there's one of those white things I need. Okay, hold on, I gotta get my- oh no, that's not my net. Oh no, that's not my net either, I don't even have my net in a pocket right now, No! Toss in some of these letters too. Sorry, I'm not even- I'm not gonna bother showing that off because it's pointless. Are you kidding me? I never catch one of those stupid white manises. This game is out to hurt me psychologically. Oh, there's Big C's with his butt hanging out. Everybody's wearing this graham cracker shirt. I guess it's appropriate. I mean, this holiday is about food, so I know. You haven't seen me in forever. Whatever. Don't care. Oh, man. Yeah, it is. Oh, sweet. That sounds like me. I focus mostly on the eating side, too. No, I really- I baked- I've traditionally baked to, well, I guess I cook one, I bake the other. I always make pumpkin pies. That is my dish for Thanksgiving. I've made pumpkin pies for our family Thanksgiving since I was about, I don't know, probably 10, 11, something like that. Super young. So um, that has been my contribution for many, many years. Um, I also cook the cranberry sauce. So that is my my other dish that I cook. So I have, you know, one decent, not, cr not complicated, I wouldn't call it complicated, but one like decent, like, 
dish and then one super easy dish that I make. So, because cranberries are super easy to make. So, pretty fun. But yeah, also I just love baking and I'm not a big fan of cooking. So it's more exciting for me to bake dessert and worry about that side of things rather than, you know, having to focus on um, cooking something really intense. And I also am a pescatarian, so I don't, but we don't even have fish on Thanksgiving, so really I'm just totally vegetarian on, on Thanksgiving. Um, so, pretty exciting. Oh, sweet! I caught a dab! Dab! Why do people dab still? Like, I had this conversation on a stream a while ago. And I was like, guys, I don't get it. Like, how did dabbing become a thing? I mean, to be fair, how does any weird dance move catch on? But dabbing? Like, I unintentionally dab when I sneeze. Like, how is that cool? I don't know. Are you guys liking this fun talk? This is a very, very chill episode of Animal Crossing. This is a very, like, chill holiday. Just because, like, there's not a lot to do. Like, that's the point. Like, you're basically doing your everyday weird Animal Crossing tasks that you might do to earn money. Except now you're doing it to get a freaking fruit basket like you're at a bingo bash in your 90s so you know it's super cool super hip with the kids totally makes sense um okay why am i not catching a red snapper i'm really disappointed right now i have a feeling i'm not gonna like end up completing this recipe at all <laughs> and it's just gonna be really dumb um which seems like what has happened in the past and i've just been like uh, forget it i don't care all right so let's go up to main street I'm not going to bother showing off my house because absolutely nothing has changed, including the furniture size. Not one thing has changed since Halloween, so, which would have been my last episode. And, yeah, there's no difference in neighbors besides Vic, which we knew was coming. So, there he is. Okay, so anyway, if you go in the Nookling shop every day in November, I think this continues even after the Harvest Festival, I want to say. Um, but you can get a piece of Harvest Furniture. Now, I love the, the color scheme to Harvest Furniture. I don't really like that, like, the tables and stuff have actual, like, poultry legs. And what are those? Talons? I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't like it. That kind of weirds me out. Like, I, that's the weird part about it for me. I'm like, mm, not a fan of dead birds being, um promoted as meat so and as furniture so that's just me but anyway 3,333 bells I believe all furniture is priced the same you can also get harvest wall or harvest carpet um, and again it's the same price oh well I meant to show it off but I was too cool for that um, okay come on show me show me yeah so it looks very much like the curtains at the beginning of Super Mario Bros. 3, only purple. Which I think is kind of fun. It would be fun in like a retro Nintendo room for that reason. Why? No. I didn't mean to look at that. Okay. No, what? that's not what I want either. I think he may just sell a wallpaper or carpet. Aha, yes. It is wallpaper or carpet. It's not both, so... Yeah, you can get either Harvest Wall or Carpet, and then you can get one piece of Harvest Furniture in the Nookling Shop every day in November. Um, I believe it is every day, too. I don't think it's just through the Harvest Festival. Again, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's my belief, and I'm sticking to it for the day, I guess, or for this recording, because that sounds... that gives me confidence. Gives me that edge, yo. Okay. There's a freaking cowboy hat in here. And now I'm in a cowboy hat. Oh, Outback hat. I'm sorry. Man, that... Yes. I'd like to try this on. I mean, this looks super good with the princess dress. Brokeback Mountain style. I'm gonna keep it on. We're just gonna look amazing. 
I'm also gonna- here we go. Can I wear this at the same time? A stash and glasses. Oh, no, 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 no! Not never mind! I wanna actually try it on. I didn't mean to press the wrong button, guys. I button mash. You know this. Yes! When I think- when I think Thanksgiving, I think princess dress, funny mask, cowboy hat. That is like my go-to. So I'm gonna keep this on too. This is gonna just look... I mean, don't I look super good? I- I look super in the holiday spirit right now. Guys, you know what else I love about today is the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade! It's my favorite. I love it. I get up at like 8 a.m. to watch it because I absolutely love everything about it, including the pre-show and all that good stuff. And yes, I just bought that dress because it's adorable and I've never seen it for sale in here before. So, I'm getting super sidetracked. Like this, none of this has anything to do with Thanksgiving anymore. So, you know, but I know you guys are just having a great time. So, no, I can't fish at kicks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go back down after this. What do I need? Um, uh, oh, I can't remember. Red snapper? Hold on, I have one thing, and I think it's the, the horse mackerel is what I have. Literally nothing else I have I need. So I know I need the horse mackerel, the red snapper, and then I need vinegar. What is the secret ingredient to this? Is it- it's not vinegar, is it? Maybe it is. Hold on, fish salad. Oh, lemon is the secret ingredient. Okay, so we can get a lemon as well. So I already have that, because that's on my beach. So, I should have said that a long time ago. I was just thinking like, oh, vinegar, because, um, so one of the salads, vinegar, is the secret ingredient, but no. Our secret ingredient's super simple because we already have lemons in our town. Because I like lemons and stuff. Wait, those are bananas. Maybe I don't have lim- No, I have lemons all around my house. Okay, yeah. I've got the lemon thing. I just need a red snapper and a bunch of freaking barble steeds that I don't want to catch. Why can't it be like a sea bass? Like, why can't that be the ingredient? Yo, for real, I love like Japanese style red snapper. Oh, it's so good. Hibachi style. Gangnam style, you know? I know. I'm just memeing you guys now. With old memes that everybody probably forgot about by this point. Um, that was unsuccessful. I'm just so good, and everybody wishes they were as good at this game as I am, obviously. It's pretty obvious. Not gonna lie. Probably the most obvious thing in the world. Please be something I need. Okay, well, you are technically something I need, but I already have you, so can you be something else that I need that I don't already have? Ugh, this is so dumb. Okay. I mean, I guess I could try and, like... I really don't... I really don't want to, like, off-screen and get all this crap. Because what if I don't end up getting it? And then, like, I've off-screened for no reason. You know what I mean? Like, it's a no-go road. Oh my god, I took forever to press the A button. I swear I have good reflexes, but not like when I get nervous. Like in this game. I'm always afraid that I'm going to scare all the fishies away. There's no way that's a red snapper. It's too freaking small. Okay, well, let's see. I guess like, let's fish in the... Let me see. If I go up to him now, what'll happen? Everyone's just waiting to be fed. Fish salad. Well, you're the stupid one for choosing a really dumb salad. So I'm gonna give you this. Oh, I can get- oh, yes! 
I'm gonna give him all these fish. It's gonna be really good. This is gonna be the best salad. Oh, I can only choose three? Okay, well... Let's do horse mackerel, because that's for real. Zebra turkey fish, because that's turkey in the name. And then freaking sea bass. Um, well, maybe you should suck it up and not be stupid. Alright, he's not- he didn't buy it. Okay, well, I'm going to try and catch a barbel steed. I'm gonna give it three more shots, and if I don't get any barbel steeds, then I'm gonna call it a day and just say, screw you, Franklin. If I do get a barbel steed, I will off screen until I get the other ingredients. So really, the the fate is in the game's hands. I mean, if Big Pimp decides to be dumb, that don't blame me. You know, you gotta be thankful for whatever you have not just what you want or even even if you think it's not enough <laughs> I don't know what any of this talk means I think I'm losing my mind slowly as I'm playing this okay well that's like the lake area so maybe that's not a good area how many spaces do I oh, man I'm like out of space in my pocket Frickin' Caesar's gonna try and outfish me. Okay, are you a thing that I need? Because I really need you to be. I'm gonna listen. Oh! What is this? Oh! Barbel Steed, yo! Swap out! The fate is in the game's hands and it said, yo, I'm gonna do it. Okay, we're gonna release the black bass back into the river. And then we're gonna, I guess, continue! So, um, to be cont- oh, wait a minute. Phineas, give me a badge because I know that's why you're here. Okay, may I have a badge, Gramps? What's my badge gonna be? Um. What? Oh man, my fish- Yes! Look at this! Goals right here! Bronze fishing badge? Mmm. We are just making it happen right now. Look, I mean, look at this face. Look at this amazing hotness going on right here. Okay, can I have another badge or is that it? All right, fine. I guess not. All right, well, I am going to off screen until we have a red snapper and two more barbel steeds. Because I believe, well, you know what? Here, I'll do this first. I'm going to go to Rodeo's house and I'm going to give him this barbel steed and get the vinegar. But this says, like, this says I need three. Oh, I think it's like in total. Like, that's what you could potentially need are three vinegars, so I don't know. So I might not need that much. Okay, what am I giving him? A barbel ste- oh shoot, I don't know which one the barbel there we go. Okay, so um, yeah, because the guide has like a list of everything you'll need and it says how many to gather, but I think that's if you're like gathering ingredients before the harvest festival and like during the harvest festival, like you may potentially need like three vinegars to complete the recipes as they are kind of randomly thrown at you. Okay, I wanna tell you about a new way to eat fruit. I call it fruit soup. To make it right, you gotta squeeze some lemon in there. Okay, yeah, they'll give you a hint as to like a secret ingredient in a different dish, and it's usually the upcome. Wait, 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 what, 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 no! You have got to be. What? You gave me a freaking lemon when I already. I went to all that trouble to get you a freaking barbel steed, and you get me a lemon? No, that's unacceptable. How the F do I get vinegar? I need vinegar! Oh my gosh, I'm so... I am just... Okay, I need to regroup. How do I get a vinegar? 
Go fish, give fish to villagers who are in their houses and are wearing chef's uniform. I did that. Oh, it's, are you serious? It's random. Oh my God. You know what? This is just super depressing right now. I was on like a high note. Okay, well, regardless, I'm going to off screen, catch some more crap, and then I'll be back. So, BRB! Alright, guys, I've had enough. Seriously, I've fished for what feels like 11 hours, and I'm serious. I'm like Johnny Cash. Like, I've been everywhere by this point. And not only can I not find another barbel steed, but I just cannot catch a red snapper. Like, they don't exist. They're extinct. They're gone forever. So, all I have is this freaking horse mackerel and a lemon so I'm gonna see if he accepts anything there's a reason I like don't participate in this holiday on Animal Crossing and it's mainly because it's just about like let's fish all day long and get frustrated and be annoyed so uh, let me see if I can give him just one ingredient and see what he says I mean this is just like impossible like I Okay, yeah, so, like, this is just, like, ridiculous. So, I am not even gonna worry about it. All we're gonna get for it is a fruits basket or a piece of harvest furniture. You know, I won't say I didn't try, because I really did. I went, like, everywhere. I tried everything, and I fished. I, like, I've thrown back, like, the equivalent of what's in my pocket worth of fish right now. And, like, I'm never catching what I need. Like, I'm never catching the correct fish. So, it's like, seriously? Can I, like, get a different dish like why did I have to get this crap but like seriously I cannot find the fish I need to save my life like they're all the same fish over and over again too and it might depend on the hour of the day I don't really know but again it's not really that important you know I'll just you know I'll I'll own it I madam ruins big pimps Thanksgiving 2017 it's fine it's not really a big deal so Anyway, but yeah, if I were to have all the ingredients and give Franklin just the three he asked for, I would get a piece of harvest furniture at random. If I gave him all four ingredients, um, including the secret ingredient that he did not ask for, I would get the fruits basket. If I gave him the ingredients for all four dishes, which I don't know how you can do that in one day because it's like insane, um, but if I gave him the ingredients for all four dishes, um, including all of the secret ingredients needed for each of those, I would be rewarded with a cornucopia by the end. So that's pretty cool. Like, I won't lie. That's pretty awesome. But, and I've never actually gotten that. I think, I want to say I've gotten a fruits basket before, but I don't think like through doing the tasks, I think somebody just gave it to me. Um, probably my sister or something, cause she ended up with more than one, but as you would, um, but, you know, this is just, like, impossible. It's too much. It's really not worth the time, like, for me, personally. I don't feel like the, you know, it was pretty amusing, attempting, but I'm not really worried about the overall, like, end result. So, and I think it probably is smartest to prepare for this in advance. Make sure you use the guide provided. Um, and then see like nothing I don't care let it go yo <laughs> by the way I find it really strange that you can throw ocean fish into the river and river fish into the ocean and there's no problem with that in this game okay um but anyway I'm not gonna worry about you know successfully getting the ingredients to Franklin you guys have all the info you need um, I tried as much as I could, but I just really don't want to waste any more time, like, and not get anywhere. It's just ridiculous. So, um, anyway, that's gonna do it for, um, the Thanksgiving episode of Let's Play Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Amiibo. Um, or, you know, rather than just the Thanksgiving episode, the Harvest Festival. So, you know, we can't, we can't be one country celebrating this. We've got to be the entire world because that's how the game is. You know, it wouldn't really make sense, even though it is on Thanksgiving Day. So anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you again in December 
for um, some winter festivities in Animal Crossing New Leaf in Big Pimp and for some birthdays as well. We have like three birthdays in December now, including Vic, because he's the 29th, so he's like right before New Year's. So anyway, that will be a lot more fun. Toy Day is a way more fun holiday in Animal Crossing, so that should be a little bit more rewarding in the end. But regardless, I hope you've enjoyed this. Please feel free to visit my dream address. It is listed in the video description, as it is in all of my Animal Crossing videos that I post. And um, so is my dream address for my other town as well. So be sure to check that out if you're interested. Uh, this has been Madame Wario. I hope you guys have a very happy Thanksgiving. Um, enjoy your dinners. And please um, be safe if you decide to go shopping today or on Black Friday, which is tomorrow. So um, be safe. Have a great holiday. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out, pimps.